guys, welcome to Fanta Fishing. Um, first off, I want to introduce Ben. How are you doing? Uh, he's new to the team. Uh, he's a specimen angler for all species, really. I'm liking that, yeah. Uh, Works for me. Seasoned uh, multi species angler, so I thought, what better way to uh, introduce him to the team for a little challenge? So, um, as you see, probably from the little trailer beforehand, we're going for 10 species today. We've got seven hours, and we're going to be using seven different methods. And a weapon of choice for these little pen rods. Ten pound off of Amazon, um, four Fuji rings on them, and a tiny little uh, plastic reel. Um, and we're going to be targeting a couple of park lakes and uh, along the river on a, on a magnitude of, uh, of different uh, methods, really. So yeah, we're going to talk you through the methods. We'll talk you through the fish. Um, we're not teaching you to suck eggs sort of thing. The methods are very, very simple and they have to be really for these sort of rods. Uh, we're not doing the introduction right at the start of the fishing, um, purely because of light conditions and things like that, but we've already sort of put them to the test and uh, yeah, there's some fun yeah. to be had in this yeah, video. Yeah, they stand up to the test so far, don't they? Definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. But Good. yeah, we started at six in the morning, so we've got seven hours. Uh, it's about half eight now. Um, but yeah, great fun so far. Stick around, keep watching, and uh, we'll catch up with you in a little bit. The first part of our challenge took us to a little country park that we know is full of angry carp who don't mind feeding off the surface. Carnage. There we go, he's out, he's out. Have you got auto reverse on? Um, no, I'm just playing it with the bail on one. Oh, is he poop ball? Oh, he's come back into the lilies. show on it really that I'm looking to, to find real at the same time. Right mate, I'm going to go down with the net. He's out. He's out. He's kind of got him under control now. In front. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Do the business mate. Bob him to lift him up. Oh dear. Don't come off now. Don't come off now. Nail him matey. <laughs> Get in yes. there! <laughs> get in there! Well done, mate. Right, let's get him on the unhook him out and unhook. It's almost as long as my rod. <laughs> Species number one. There we are. Wilson's off the mark. There we are. <laughs> Plenty of energy still. There she is. Maybe a double figure coming. Yeah, not far off. Yeah, fun. On that little tiny rod. Yeah. Mate, the rod's next to you here, look. 
There's not much difference, in it? Bad. No, almost as long as the rod itself. <laughs> but yeah, species number one. How we landed it, I don't know. No. It was through the lilies and back and through the lilies and back. I would have struggled on a 12 foot rod, I reckon. Um, but there you go, yeah. Number one, first method, floating crust. Quality, mate, let's get him back. First species off the mark for carp. Well done, mate. Yeah, just got one right on the spot. There's one feeding up by these reeds and he's in. Good skills, my friend. Well, he's kept an eye on that one for about the last 20 minutes. It was just feeding off the edge of them reeds to the right there. And he's managed to hook it. Are you, are you making on it? Yeah? yeah oh, good. I said, put the old rod for his actions, mate. <laughs> if she'd been well, didn't she? <laughs> it's got to be back wind all the way, in it? On the, the, the clutch is just not, uh, the drag's just not, yeah. Just can't get her, just can't, just can't get the heads up, that's the problem. We're going to net that right there like that. Yeah. Well done, good skills, my friend. Get in there. Excellent. Not as big as Ben's. But on a pen rod, anything's a success, I think. Uh, so yeah, species one for me. I get about four or five pounds, but like I said, that rod is mental. And what was that on? Uh, it's on floating crust on the surface, Excellent. straight through, just uh, straight through to the hook. So uh, good skills. First species, first method. Uh, I think we're gonna say adios to the lake now. Release this little beauty and uh, head to our next spot on the river and uh, target a pike, I think. little spots along the river, little nooks and crannies. It's not the easiest casting on this tiny little rod, but um, we didn't get this one on camera fighting, but I've had a pike, um, well, a jack pike, but it's a pike, it's hooked in the mouth with the little uh, fox spiky shad. That'll do. It's a species, it's another method on the lure. Love it. Beautiful. Then he's got to get one now. We'll crack on with the silvers. Release him back. Boom. Don't know if it's a perch or a pike at the moment. It's a little pike. Yes. Oh, it's always got to be bigger than mine, isn't it? Boom. Yes, Benny. Thank you very much. Well, it's a. There you go, look, fully engulfed the lure. It's been said a few times, but credit to in miniature. Happy days. Yeah, right, uh, so we've had two species now, two methods. I'll grab the forceps, we'll get it out and release it. Brilliant. Thanks very much. So we've just got a single maggot on that. Oh, looks like a twitch. Single maggot. Yeah, there. SSG shot. It's fishing tight on the bottom. No, it's gone a bit slack there. Yeah. Hit that. Yeah. What is it? It's a little rud. Mate, it's a rud. Beautiful. Look at that. Yes. <laughs> Another one of the species we were slightly worried about. That's just a golden, well, a rud as it is. Very yeah. nice. Um, and that's your method. Single SSG, about 12 inches up the line. Uh, 2.4 hook link. Down to a size 20 hook. So you can tell the difference in a rud with the different feed in mouth from a roach. You sort of got a, they feed on the surface sometimes. That is a fat thing there. Yeah, lovely. Beautiful red fins. Yeah. Another species ticked off, another method. 
Okay, we're live here with Matt fishing the weir. Uh, single swan shot, about 12 inches down from the line. Size 20 hooks, two pound hook links. That's deep. Any good? That's a rod. Lovely. Lively rod. Happy days. Another species. So three species, three methods. Get him unhooked, stop him back. Pucker. Moving as well. Yeah. Is that it's tight, that's bouncing. Yeah, mate, you got something. You got a perch. We had a, we've got oh, a, a perch. Yes! <laughs> mate, like, mate that, that perch took that one away. That's, that's we, giving me an idea, dude. We nearly caught two perch. <laughs> we caught two species in one go. Mate, I've had an idea, though. Go on. I'm thinking uh, he's already been hit by a perch. Yeah, he has. Why not uh, put him on as a little ivy? What are you thinking? It's another species. another species. Another method? Yeah, boy. Bottom feeding fish. Don't really see many of them these days, but beautiful like blues and tints in them. Yeah, let's get them in the bucket. I'm going to re rig up. Right, so uh, Ben was just wheeling in a gudgeon and it got nailed by a little perch on the way in, which gave me an idea. So, Mr. Gudgeon's on the hook. Very simple setup, another method, live baiting to try and catch a perch. Got a, a, a little float on there just with uh, two rubber bands on it, uh, just to hold it in place. We've got no, no other way other than the fish, let him roam around. We're under depth, so I'm going to flick this down just in front, see if that perch is still about and it fancies another go on this uh, gudgeon. Perch on it. It's got him. Yes. Oh, good skills, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you absolutely nailed him. And Wicked. In the interest of all the people who don't really look at live have a, baiting. Can we just have a little look at that? Oh, that's, yeah, that's absolutely swallowed that, hasn't it? Yeah. Do you know what? That gudgeon must be three quarters of the size of that perch. Greedy little so and so. Get him unhooked. Get him back in there. Another species. Can you see him? Can you see the fish on the bottom? Yeah. Go on. Yes. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Got another gudgeon. We're straight through the bottom lip. That won't coming off. Right then, so like Matt said, got to crack on a little bit with this challenge. Um, while Matt's going down the feeder route, I'm going to use standard float tactics. Fishing in quite deep water here, uh, and obviously not being able to go that deep because of the rod, uh, I'm going to use a sliding float. So I'm going to use a bead, very thin bead that passes through the eyes, probably eight foot up the line, and just a float that will slide down to that bead as I get to the bottom. Uh, looking to catch chub, roach, and bream hopefully now. Let's crack on. Good rod. Found a little patch of fish down there. Need that chub and we need that rope. So um, we're going to graft for a little bit now and just try and get these done. Then we're going to move on to our next spot. We've got a couple of our special species lined up. Fish me. 
moving up there. Chub. Wee. There okay. we go. Chub on a float fish. Not the biggest chub in the world, but today's conditions and that, we're going to have to take that one. But um, yeah, nice one, Benny. Another species, another method. What you got there then? Some roach. Not caught many roach today. But Lovely. Yeah, similar to the rod. Not as gold. The bottom feed and mouth. What's that little roach? That's a chub. We will hit. Bigger than mine, but <laughs> lip oh, good skills, mate. Top lip, bottom lip, bottom lip. It's on the float method, lovely. Straight through, float through to a three pound line. Single white maggot. And the river's teeming with these, aren't it? Really, yeah, you know, there's loads in it. It's really got you know good potential. The rivers were meant to be were damned going back a few years. Pollution and obviously. Uh, um, predators, the otters and stuff, mink, but to be honest, this stretch that we're fishing here is absolutely teeming with them. Uh, I think on the way up, I yeah. think that they got, they got sort of eaten, quite a lot of them got eaten. Yeah. And it's all sort of miniature species. And as good as it's... Miniature pike, miniature chub. That's right, yeah. On the rise. And I think as good as it is for the fish, it's good for future generations of anglers, because they're going to be there, aren't they? Yeah. Our children will be fishing for them in 10, 15 years and so on. Well, that, no, good skills, mate, well done. And now the roach <laughs> on the float tactic. There you go. I was catching these when I was eight and nine years old, and uh, it's been one of the hardest to catch today. <laughs> been beaten up with dace and rud, and uh, finally managed to get through to one. Lovely. Let's get that perch, get over to the next spots. Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> mate. That has been a slog. We've come back down to uh, the country park because we couldn't get a perch on a river, believe it or not. Switched to the drop shot off the borrowed little dendrobenas, and uh, we've nailed a perch. We've got about what 45 minutes left. I reckon, yeah, tight now, isn't it? And uh, yeah, we've we'll got about 15 minute journey as well, so we've got three more fish to catch. Uh, we've got a couple more techniques, it's, we're really against the time now. So I reckon, Benny, we pick up all the gear, run to the car. I think so, we're going to have to get our toes here. Aren't <laughs> yeah, we? definitely, mate. Right, let's crack on. Right, we're at the next, well, we're nearly at the next spot. We've got to get through all this jungle first. There's a little uh, river, no wider than about this, about six inches deep. I hold some real special fish. I can count on one hand how many people know about this place. Uh, so it's strictly secret. But um, there's trout in here, there's dace in here, and there's minnows in here. So they're our next three species we're going to target. We just got to get through this first. Hence the trousers. Um, it's, there's all sorts of brambles, stinging nettles. So uh, we're going to trek through, get to the next spot. We've got a little, uh, got some little flies. We're going to try them. Um, never done it before, but worth a go ain't it we've got about 35 minutes left and then uh time's up so we're against the clock now so we better get a wiggle on catch it a bit
for what felt like miles and miles of bushes and reeds and trees. Um, we've turned up at a lovely little area that is effectively known as Cookie's Corner. Um, very quiet little run, kind of bends round to the right hand side and it's probably the rest of the river's running at about a foot deep. This probably runs at more like two foot deep and uh, the fish do hold up here. Hopefully the species we're after are here and we're going to have a go. I'm alright, I'm still flying high, um, set up with a fly, ready to try and nip one of them trout out. Um, Matt on the other hand has been a little bit heavy handed and managed to wreck his reel. <laughs> so he's going to have to do the rest of the challenge, uh, well, like with this. Um, <laughs> Yeah, good luck, mate. Give best. him a little look at the uh, cookies corner. There she is. Okay, here we are, still in cookies corner. Um, just one or two species left to catch now, and one of those is probably the smallest that we're going to be catching today, and that's the minnow. Um, obviously, grew up catching them, like many other anglers did. So we have to go to find our tactic down a little bit. I'm on a size 20 hook with a single white maggot. Rather than end hook, doesn't it? It's right through the body, um, meaning that as soon as that minnow picks that up, that hook's in its mouth. Um, we'll have to have fish a feeder here to get the method that we need. Um, so again, small open-ended feeder, a few maggots in it, we dropped into the corner. Let's just see how we get on. And there we go. And there we have it. The humble minnow. Lovely. Beautiful the colours on them. Come in a different array of colours, different times of the year, um, different light factors. This one looking a bit dull as it's overcast today, but I've had them on days where the sun's been out where they're lit up blue. Well, they lovely creatures. On a swim feeder and a size 20 hook. Cool, we get him unhooked. Left and right off. Hang on then. Little trout, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I, I recognise that. He's a, he's a little plump one, isn't he? He's been eating all the flies. Good skills, my man. Right. Just two more fish to catch. Yeah. Oh, oh. I thought I was going to strike that. They're minnows, that's all they are. I think. Oh. Now it goes around again. Like yeah? Yep, fish on. Like a trout to me, mate. Oh, yes. Whee! This is why we came here. This is why we come here for pleasure. Look at you, beautiful. And they get a lot bigger than that in here, believe it or not. All right, there he is, all unhooked, ready to go back. You need to really rest these fish, uh, they're really delicate, so, um, going to get him back into the water very quickly but first I'm going to quickly show you the rig that's nailed this one it's a different rig than we've been using today it's a ball ledger uh, drilled drilled ledger that runs up and down the line down to a buffer bead and then below that uh, we've got a three in, uh, a three pound hook link size 16 hook and two three red maggots so that's what's done the damage come on not long left we'll get him back and rest him nicely Fish on. That's an acrobatic one as well. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Nearly banked himself. Come on. Yes. Well done, my friend. And that's and that's why we do it. Yeah. So full of energy. That's why we do it. Beautiful. I'm gonna get him unhooked. We've got about ten minutes. We've got to try and catch two dice, and then we're done. What have you got, mate? Yeah, I don't know. It looks like it could be a day. I had about three trout in a row there. And then this one. That's a dice. Little dice. <laughs> Come get on. it in the net, get it in the net. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yes! Get in there, get in there. <laughs> it's a scorcher in the net and all sorts. <laughs> yes! You, oh, mate, I've done never the... wanted to see a dice so much in my life. What a clunky dice. That is a banger of a dice, mate. In the yeah. bottom lip, mate. They ain't coming out. Oh, lovely. Oh, pucker. Mate. Mission accomplished. Mission Talk about lastminute.com. We've got about two minutes left. Excellent. I need to bang one out in two minutes. Um, where there's one day, so we found on this river that there's usually more. So. Get back on that spot again. Yeah. Right. I've got no time to hang about. It's going to get unhooked. We're going to throw that one back. And then, uh, yeah, we'll be right back with you. Right, guys. We're up full time. Um, sadly, I've not got a day to show you on camera. Uh, the rod's just out at the moment, but it's one o'clock now, and um, that's the seven hours which we uh, said at the start of the challenge, so fair is fair. Got to call it a day, and I haven't got a day, but um, believe it or not, I probably had about ten days earlier, but they were so small that I thought, no, we'll catch a better one later, and uh, well and truly bit me on the arse. But uh, on the bright side of things, Mr Wilson, congratulations, mate, on your debut on Planter Fishing. How's it feel? Great, wasn't it? Yeah. Yourself, yeah, really it was a great. Time. It was a great day. Just yeah. a bit of a bitter end to it because yeah. just couldn't get that one on the camera. So, but that's fishing. Uh, originally, the plan was just to do this challenge between us and catch ten fish. And at the last minute, we said, "No, nah, sod it. Let's both try and get the ten yeah, fish." Yeah, we can do it. Yeah, uh, and we can do it. Which we were ninety-nine percent we, uh, there, weren't we? Well, we did do it because I had them earlier. Just, just yeah. there were days about this big, and I thought, I can't, I can't say that that's a, a fish valid to sort of yeah, kind for that of species. For this challenge, yeah. yeah. But um, is what it is. What a day to to win it on. No, that was a brilliant fish. But yeah, good fun as well. Yeah, had a, good had a day. Great, great day. We're going to call it a day. Um, probably going to go get the quiver tips out now and see the rest of the afternoon out with proper rods instead of these silly things. But um, probably catch some dice. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> but there we go. Um, thanks for watching, everyone. And like like always, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave us a little comment. We want to do some future challenges. So um, let us know if you've got any ideas. Speak to you soon. See you soon, guys. Thank you.